good afternoon or maybe it's evening or maybe it's morning i don't know i don't know when you're watching this oh no volume hold on okay there we go um hi this is uh this is corinne coming to you um via source meditation and i'm a guide here at source <sighs> and this is your tuesday or whenever you're watching it um check in so this is a this meditation is called an acceptance meditation and um the intention that i have uh, for um, guiding this meditation and also the intention that i have for you and for us um, together collectively is that we are able to um, come to a place of stillness of you know maybe even quieting the mind a little bit or if not quieting the mind understanding and accepting what is going on um, within the mind a little bit uh, more clearly and with more compassion and with more understanding um, <clears throat> so that's kind of my intention for these acceptance meditations is just that as we're moving through this time of massive change in the world um, you know, a return back to uh, connecting with the earth more, um, the change of, you know, no longer expecting the earth to provide for us, but rather to um, actually support the earth and take care of the earth um, as we are understanding and learning about um, you know, the foundation of of our life, whether it's this country, if you're here in the United States or somewhere else, but um, you know, the systems that have been in place from the beginning um, that are um, leading to separation between us as humans. Um, you know, we're seeing that with the, the civil rights movement now. And so anyways, with all of that, all of these changes, um, I am just, my hope is that we are able to find some space for um, welcoming, accepting, loving what we are experiencing within our own human experience, right? Like me, my experience, which is probably not that different from many other um, people's experiences, from many of your experiences, and is so different from so many people's experiences as well. Um, and starting to understand that while we all have these different experiences of life, um, it's not our place to judge ourselves or anyone else for their experience and to try to live with more acceptance, um, less judgment, more love. <sighs> so with all that being said, um, let's drop into it. So I am coming to you um, from in my home and I do have the windows open today because it's really nice outside. So you might hear some um, background noises as well as just other people moving around here in my house. Um, so you may hear a few background noises, but <sighs> maybe there's background noises where you are as well. So you can sit or if you're more comfortable lying down, you can certainly lie down as well, whatever works for you. You can be in a chair. Um, if you're in a chair, I just invite you to put your feet firmly planted um, flat on the floor. And if you are lying down, just make sure that you are um, supported enough so that you can um, maybe stay still and really relaxed and restful. Otherwise, if you're seated, just make sure your spine is nice and tall however you're sitting. So you're holding your own back upright and then just lightly drop your chin, maybe pull your chin slightly back. Just freeing up that energetic channel that exists within all of us, it runs along the front of the spine. If you haven't closed your eyes, go ahead and do so. And take a moment to just take in your environment. What is the first thing 
that you notice? What is the first thing that pulls on your attention? Maybe sound or sounds. Maybe it's temperature, the temperature of the space you're in or the temperature of the air, the temperature of your body. Maybe it smells. And notice in particular, if there's any part of this experience of where you are right now, that's bothering you or irritating you. Anything that you feel like maybe there's a less than welcoming response to. I invite you to feel into that. I'm gonna hold space for a couple of moments of silence here and I invite you to just stay present with that irritation or annoyance, boredom maybe, whatever it is, frustration. Stay with it. What did you notice within there? Is it still irritate, irritating you? Is it still bothering you? Did your mind start to wander to something else? Whatever that experience felt like for you, even just witnessing for those couple of quiet moments, Welcome it. You don't have to like it, but welcome it anyway. You know, welcome the irritation. And sometimes in our meditation practices, it just doesn't feel like it clicks, right? It just feels loud or hectic. The mind feels busy, disconnected, disjointed. And we're so quick to judge ourselves in those moments. We're so quick to give up, to say things like, oh, it's just not working today. We're so quick to say, I'm not good at this or I'm not good at that. And so I ask you, what if the opposite were true? What if those busy thoughts, what if the distractions when you're trying to be quiet, maybe right now you're experiencing this, what if all of that, whatever it is, is actually designed divinely designed for you to remember who you are, for you to remember how it feels to actually fully, completely accept yourself. So we'll take another few moments of silence here and I invite you to begin to tune into your own breathing. 
You can keep your attention somewhere around the area of your nostrils, if that's a good focus point for you. You could keep your attention on the belly, the diaphragm, the ribs, the chest, wherever you actually feel the breath in your body. You could say to yourself, inhale, exhale. You could count your breath. How many counts are you breathing in? How many counts are you breathing out? There's no right number. And notice every time your attention leaves the breath and wanders away. And just bring it back. It might be one breath and then a thought. And then, oh yeah, the breath. And then a thought. And then the breath. And then a thought. That might be how it goes. That's great. So I'll hold another maybe minute or two minutes of silence. And just stay with your breath as best you can and accept that wandering from the breath is absolutely a part of this practice. From somewhere in your memory or a thought or your imagination, can you think of or remember or even just imagine and create a time in this life as this human being that you are right now, the last time you felt no question around accepting yourself. You didn't even know the word acceptance. You didn't know that self-acceptance was something to practice because you never didn't practice it. Can you think of a memory, a time, or even just imagine a time in your past, maybe in childhood, a time when you didn't even have to think about accepting anything because you just did it naturally. The last time that you never had one negative or judgmental thought about yourself. I'll give you a few minutes to just kind of explore
maybe there is another person or other people in this memory with you. Start to remember, start to imagine as many details around this image or around this thought as you can. What did you look like? Who was there? Who is there? We're entering into a space within our subconscious mind where time doesn't work or it doesn't exist, to be totally honest. So don't be surprised if it feels like a very present moment because it is. In your subconscious mind, everything is happening at the same time. So allow yourself to really drop into this memory or this image or visualization. And if you don't have a memory, I invite you to create one. I invite you to create maybe a story where you are the main character. And just create a scene in which you have no idea what judgment even means. See yourself, feel yourself with this version of yourself, whether it's a memory or a creation. But see yourself now or feel yourself now just as you are standing with this version of yourself that doesn't know what judgment means that has no idea what the practice of self-acceptance is because you've never not accepted yourself. And if you have any questions to ask this guru teacher of yourself, go ahead and do so now. Listen for the responses, listen for the answers, feel for the responses or answers. Does this fully loved, fully accepted version of yourself have anything to share with you? Anything to send back with you, to take with you into your present moment?
if you'd like, you can jot down, write down any messages that your fully accepted self has offered if you need to, or if not, just hold them in your heart. Maybe offer gratitude or thanks to your fully accepted self. Taking that feeling with you and bringing your focus, bringing your attention back to your breathing here and now in your human body, just as you are. Inhaling and exhaling. Perhaps you start to pay attention again to the space and the surroundings that you are in right now. Remember that thing that was bothering or irritating you? Is it still there? Do you still feel that same level of irritation? Has it changed or shifted? The answer might be yes, it might be no, both are wonderful. The answer might be I don't know, that's okay too. Perhaps you start to notice sound again, temperature, of the air of your body. And be ending this meditation just a few minutes early. Um, so you can take some time, maybe set a little timer for yourself for, I don't know, two, three, four, five minutes, um, and just journal a little bit about your experience um, with your fully accepted self. Um, just whatever comes up for you. I hope that this meditation has offered you some space to uh, remember that self-acceptance is a practice and it changes and some days it's easy and other days it's really hard. And so I honor you so deeply wherever you are. Um, thank you so much for joining me whenever it is that you are. Um, again, my name is Corinne and uh, hopefully I'll see you next week. Namaste.